is going on guys welcome to the coast of maine this is my dad's first time to maine yes, ever indeed. correct yeah, ever that's right that's we right. are out on this long jetty here and this thing goes for almost a mile down the way and you can just see the boulders i mean the fishing possibilities are just endless even the we can even have access to all the shoreline over here and all the shoreline over here and the plan is just go fishing crabbing and exploring for the next few days and make up a big seafood feast put it in this new cooler that i just bought here and cook it all up at the end so what are you starting off with pops i got a sabiki rig with a bucktail on the end instead of just a regular sinker real colorful sweet and had a local tell me how to fish them so i cast out and then just pick up reel in pick up reel in just try that and see if we can get some uh, mackerel is what we're after sweet hey guys we are just fishing for anything and everything we both don't know what we're really doing out here so uh yeah this That's will be part of the fun yeah <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be fun Look at them all. Look at them all. There we go. I do. <laughs> if I could have left it down there safely, I'd have left it down there. First cast. <laughs> there we go. Yes, sir. They're delicious. Those are a little small, but they're delicious. A little bit bony, but they're good. Yeah. All right. That is cool, right off the bat. Well, let's see here. I'll just. I've had kids fish down here for hours. Oh, no. Wow, I didn't even, even gotten got them tied on, Pop. <laughs> nice. I was, guys, I'm literally in the middle of tying on. First cast, my dad gets fish. That is. That is. Should we put him? I thought we sure. could put him in the bag. That would be make it easier yeah. to. Bring that over yeah. here. Sweet. All right, my friends, now I am tied on the little drop shot rig here, and I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. In here are blood worms. Oh, that's creepy, they're really wiggly. They're like, very lively. I've never tried blood worms before. They were expensive at the tackle store. I don't think they bite. They have some sort of little sucker on the end there, though. Oh, wow, blood is actually like coming out. Oh, there you go. That's why they're called blood worms. Weird. Apparently they dig them up out of the mud around here. And um, they're very expensive, but they're pretty, they're phenomenal bait. All right, one thing I've learned about jetty fishing is that a lot of times I'll cast far away from the rocks. And then I find out toward the end of the day when I'm not catching much that a lot of the fish are close. So I'm actually going to start close this time. There's no point casting out when the fish are like practically under your feet. Apparently they have a lot of rock fish and stuff. Oh, I'm getting a bite. First drop, first drop. Look at that, look at that. You guys see that? Got him. Oh shoot, he cut off. Guys, first drop. Oh, he almost stole my blood worm. I was about to say there are just like, usually like rock fish and, and things around. Um, I'm looking at like main fishing reports and stuff. Oh shoot, I had him. I had him, dang it. Got him, oh. That's the problem right there, folks. Well, Pops, I got something. It's a micro. It's just perfect for my saltwater aquarium. Looks like a ras. Well, yeah, some sort. Of, it looks like a ras. It does. It's yeah. just like Maine's version of a ras. <laughs> That's huh. pretty. It is pretty. Just throw them back out there. That's why I kept missing them. All right, guys, let's set that old sabiki out to work again. Mm. That first cast, I must have hit them just right when they were going through. <laughs> oh, there we go. Trying to let more get on here. Yep. No more out there, though. I let it set as long as I could. It's such a pretty fish. Such a cool pattern on top. Alright guys, we're gonna go a little bit parallel to shore. See what happens that way. 
most of my bites have been fairly close to shore. So what I'm thinking is that the fish are probably just moving parallel. And so I've got a better shot at getting something if I stick with parallel to the shore, kind of like fishing for bass, you know? Feels like I've got something. Oh yeah, we got something going here. Fish on. Oh, we got a squid too. I got a squid and a fish. What? Yep, look at that. What? Oh man. That is cool. Squid and a mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> Doubles. It's not very. You never. I didn't think we'd come here catch a squid and a mackerel at the same time. <laughs> that is that's, so cool. That's fun. Oh my word. They like the pink one. It seems like. Yes. Yeah, they like the little pink lure guys. Very cool. Yeah, nice. if you want to check it out, yeah, just a little. Like apparently there are millions of little squid that come in from the deep water in the summertime. So. That's cool. Yeah. Just fill the cooler. This one. This one. Mackerel goes in there, mm -hmm. and the squid will go in here. Case Excellent! Yeah. Couple of squid! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Cool, Pop. Oh. Well, guys, since that cast was so successful, we got to try it again. <laughs> That's too cool. So you cast out the locals to count to three, and then just pull it straight up. Not to the side, just straight up. Reel in your slack, let her down. Usually, you well, I've always caught them on the fall. So if you're out here in Maine, and you're new to this like I am, that's what you try. Big old squid, he's inking. He's inking all over too. <laughs> that is crazy. Just got a little too close to the hooks. That is a nice size one. That is too. a good one. Check that out. Isn't that just cool? You can see through them. Uh huh. huh. Look at his, his flap there. Wow. Very cool. Yeah, he, he's got little suction cups. I can feel them just mm -hmm. barely on my finger. They like that bright sabiki. Yes. He... Got him. Yeah. Got something. What is this? Oh, it's another one of those fish, guys. Like, uh, just a little bit bigger one. <sighs> That's crazy, because it reminds me exactly of a wrasse in Hawaii. Wanted that uh, blood worm there. Oops, whoa, hey, oh, hey. Come on out of there. See, they live in the rocks, but not that much in the rocks. Cool, just barely hooked him. That's why I keep missing. I'm, get, I'm getting bites like almost every cast, but missing them. And I wonder if there are just tons of these down there. You know, we might keep this guy just because I'm curious how they taste. I know that wrasse in Hawaii are absolutely delicious. There we go, knocked him out. Stick him in the fish bag. Boy, we've got the variety going. This is, this is cool. All right, my friends, we are gonna move down. I just tied on this big glide bait though, just in case we see some... anything on that out here, so. <laughs> Just in case you see some big striper schooling got that ready but we just keep moving down the jetty and fishing and it seems to be working it's fun yeah look at that oh do i have one no look at that ship coming in that's cool like an old-fashioned wooden ship with the flags flying and everything That's a good note to end on. Yeah, they Couple. must have both hit at the same time because I, you know, I pull it up, let it go, pull it up, and all of a sudden there's a slack line. It's like, oh, I think I'm like, <laughs> yep, here they are. Cool. Well, guys, um, we're actually just talking about going, uh, but this has been a fantastic first few hours out on the jetty. Out of all of the different species that are like we expect to kind of catch in Maine, um, you know, mackerel, squid, crab, sea bass, we've got some of the main ones knocked out, so. Um, <laughs> What? One of the main ones. Oh, the, the main, main oh yeah, okay. My mind doesn't work in the pun pun way. 
there. But anyway, uh, this has been a really good first few hours out here. So we're gonna get these in the cooler and see what we're gonna do next. Wow, this looks different. It does. Really <laughs> Guys, the tide is low right now. In fact, it's going out for another hour and it is calm and beautiful out here. Just at the slightest sea breeze. Gorgeous next day. The water looks clear, perfect for crabbing. And that is what we're gonna focus on next. I have a few of the mackerel and we're gonna let them down there and see if we can get some big crabs maybe a lobster to come around but even if we catch a lobster we actually can't keep it because uh, we are not main residents so but it'll be cool to see what goes on down there all right coming down here it's so nice they got one dock and then one at the very end as well and people randomly tie up their boats and like i guess go to the restaurant up there and all that jazz so it's nice and shallow right now because the tide is low we'll be able to see the crabs Guys, we're gonna do is just take one of these whole mackerel. We're gonna make some slices in it. Like so, man, it's amazing how easy mackerel cuts. And then just tie it on, and the crab should flock to it. <laughs> All right, so I got a mackerel rigged on there. My dad's fishing off this side, so I'm gonna fish off this side. Let's see here, crabs. Mr. Crabs. You know, guys, I see a cave. I see a cave right there. I'm gonna let the mackerel down right at the entrance to it. So after the mackerel had settled to the bottom, it was just seconds and a lobster already found it. I barely had time to get my camera out before a lobster came over and started to drag it away. I'd expected crabs to come out, did not expect a lobster. Guys, I just, guys, a lobster just pops out right almost immediately like i didn't even have time to to walk away oh he i think he might have popped off so i had no idea that lobsters were just hanging out under the rocks of a jetty when i went for walks or just fished you could see crabs walking around but we never saw any lobster so i i don't know i thought maybe they were out a little deeper or they kind of roamed around in the sand. Look at them coming out. There must be a lot of them down there. I have seen uh, Zach Fowler's video where he puts a GoPro on a lobster. And in that video, the lobster was just in the open spaces, walking around. But it makes sense that they'd be under the rocks, kind of like giant crawfish. We kept dropping it down there, hoping crabs would pop out, because we'd see quite a few crabs. And look, one finally gets on it right there, but then the lobster pushes him off. It's a big Jonah crab, and the lobster pulls it away from him. Then on the end of the dock, we also had a piece of mackerel kind of in the open areas, and that's actually where I thought we'd be getting the lobster. But you can see a bunch of crabs clinging onto it. It was also deeper out there, so we really couldn't see what was going on. So we just kind of wait a while and then pull it up. <laughs> that is, is sweet. That's fun. All right, well, that's good practice. Even though those are small, they're too small to keep. They look bigger underwater. Look how bright orange that one is. It's a female there. Hey, Pops. Yeah, I don't know how big he is, but there's. it looks like there's a Jonah crab right over here. You see him? Yeah, just drop it there's right by him. Too. So the Jonah crabs were the ones we were after uh, because they have the big claws and they just get bigger. Every once in a while we would catch a bigger green crab, but most of them were small. We could see the Jonah crabs from up top because they were more orange. And we lowered it right by these two guys and check that out. I don't know if you guys saw that. Look at the replay. Scares a flounder out from all the weeds. I didn't know that flounder burrowed in the weeds. I thought they were an open water fish. That's why this underwater footage is so cool. I keep learning new things every time I, I put the GoPro down there. But the Jonah crabs went over and grabbed it finally. They were hesitant though. We had to leave it down there for a, a good while before a couple of them got on. And even then you can see the third one in the background did not jump on the bandwagon. But these guys got it all the way up to the surface. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> he dropped off right in. Now they are, gosh, that looked bigger underwater. <laughs> those are, those are the kinds we want though. That's it, yeah. Uh. 
Yeah, look at that, guys. Now, yeah, they're small, but uh, we can call them out later. Look, he's still eating them oh, yeah. as he's... Look, he has, a bunch of his legs are gone. That's interesting. Huh. Yeah, we'll keep both of them, I even though they're... So. Yep. Just a, yeah, they got big claws on them. Oh, yeah. The claws them, of themselves are... There we go. Excellent. There we go. All right, we'll see about how many we keep yeah. or whatever, but there you go. First catches of, of the day, cool. I think that the longer we left the bait down there, the more it got the crabs fired up. Those fish juices and stuff kind of were getting in the water. And as the other crab and lobster picked at it, it caused more pieces to kind of be flowing around there. So the crabs got out in the open more, searching for those little pieces of fish. Uh, that one swims out and grabs it. And then we lowered it right to a Jonah crab who's pretty fired up about it. It's funny, some of the Jonah crabs seem to almost be sleeping uh, or just weren't interested in the mackerel. But then, like, that one is really eager and grabbed on. But he has his legs hooked around some seaweed. So we pulled on it and looks like he pulled off a nice chunk of it. And we never ended up getting that one. And then a lobster came out of the cave again and grabbed it. Man, these are some really nice size lobster too. And this one, we got it up pretty close, but we just couldn't catch it. We couldn't scoop it in the net. It is illegal in Maine. I cannot believe non-residents can't catch lobster in any way. There needs to be some like law change there where non-residents... Like, maybe if you don't go out and set traps with the locals, but if you could catch them on a hand line or maybe just a little snare that you lower from a dock, that would be so nice. That'd be a big tourist activity, too. But uh, they're very uh, they're very protected. That was unfortunate. We were just going, man, imagine how many lobster we'd have if we could scoop these guys. So we saw a Jonah crab there, so we brought it over to him. And again, it was like it took him a second. Like, oh, wait, there's some bait there. And he goes for it, and we planned on catching him until a lobster comes over, <laughs> big bully, and starts to take it away. It seems to me like lobsters are the top of the food chain down there, at least among crustaceans. In my mind, before this trip, lobster were kind of slow moving, a little lethargic, didn't move much kind of a crustacean and this underwater footage showed to me that they they move around a lot they hunt actively like for food look at his antenna smell on the camera they're not real skittish like he's full on just smelling the camera he hung out for a while and let me uh film him this is a really cool colored lobster they're all that blue in him but it just surprised me how bold they were how much they moved around how agile they were I just, I look at lobster a little differently after seeing this underwater footage. And speaking of that, watch right here. A lobster comes out from the crack in the rocks. Must have been wedged in there. We didn't see that, of course, because of uh, how deep the water was. But he comes out from in between the rocks and grabs it. There must be thousands of them underneath the rocks of this jetty. Check out the one popping out in the corner. He smells the mackerel. I, this shocked me how many lobster there were because when you take a walk on the jetty and look down, all you see are crabs and usually just small crabs walking around. You don't see lobsters clinging to the side of the rocks, eating stuff, but that must be because they are more nocturnal, I'm guessing, and they're more kind of an under the rock crustacean and not on top. This guy finds the bait and is going to pull it down into his lair. Pulls it away from the crabs again. Definitely the top of the food chain crustacean-wise. But we're trying to keep it away from him since we couldn't catch it and get the Jonah crab to get on. But you see the Jonah crab's just watching. So we kept pulling it away from the lobster. Finally, he gave up. And we lowered it right on top of the Jonah crab. But he seems to be wise to the game. He's not grabbing it. He's like, yeah, I see what you guys are doing. Even the other crabs are a little skittish. It's like they learned from watching the lobster deal with it. We never got that crab to grab on. We left it literally sitting on top of his head for like a minute or two. So moved the bait and another 
lobster pops out. And all of these seem big to us. I know things seem a little bit bigger underwater, but all of them seemed like keeper size. Had to pull it away from that one as well. He kicked up a bunch of uh, mud in the process. And then we saw Jonah Crab just roaming the open sand. So we lowered it down to him with plans of pulling him in to eat. Oh, it's two. Oh, I thought two. it was one big one. <laughs> and look how much smaller he is than he looked from above water. Oh like, he's, I mean, it's okay, but yeah. like. <laughs> That's funny. Well, yeah, looked like a really nice one. Good claws. Yeah, good claws on him. We'll have fun. We'll have fun eating him. Yeah. Can't. Just... <laughs> this guy still does. It's crazy how they don't want to let it go. Even though you're unhooking him. Yeah, look at it. He's trying to kind of flee and he's like just chowing down. There you go. Look at this guy. That's cool. All right. Another crab. That is fun. And guys, the tide is turning and it's about to start. Actually, it is coming in right about now. All right, buddy, you are free. Well, my friends, uh, the crab part is done. We've got one more spot to go to. Thank you, Pops, for yeah, well, this, is this, is, this is a good time, so. All right, my friends, back out on the jetty or the, uh, what is it, what do they call water water breaker, breakwater, as they call them here in Maine. And uh, it's perfect because the sun's starting to go down. And, the tide's uh, coming in. Yeah, and the tide is coming in. And the ancient has a spoon rigged on and a fresh sabiki. And mostly it's just the tide is coming in. So that can make things way better. By the way, if you're new to fishing and you're shore fishing, a lot of times this doesn't apply to boat fishermen. But if you're shore fishing, you will catch two or three or fours and many times uh, more fish uh, if you fish an incoming tide than you do when the tide is going out. Just FYI. And then I have on here a Carolina rig. You can see a bead, egg sinker, a circle hook, and a piece of mackerel. Put that on. Oh man, I hope I can get a flounder with that thing. Watch, I'll probably catch a striped bass on it. Actually, I will take anything, to be honest. All right, here we go. Carolina rig away. I'm actually gonna try to get away from the jetty a little bit out into the kind of sandy gravel areas and then drag it along. Huh. Got something. Yeah. Got a little something, guys, on the cut bait. First fish on the cut bait. It's not big, but it's something. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's another one of those. <laughs> Funny how when you first catch a fish, you're like, oh, this is so cool. But by the 10th one, you're like, eh, I think I'll put him on the ice. He's kind of bigger. Anything? Uh, we have caught two so far. Nice. Yeah, we caught a, uh, a mackerel and then a little um, wrasse, I think it's called. So you want to see him there in the cooler. So we got these fish. Some of these are from the other day, but I just caught that one there. Oh, nice. Look at his teeth there. And my dad caught some squid yesterday. Ooh, that's before. nice. Yeah, so we're happy with the catch. You going to eat it? Uh-huh. Are you going to eat them? Yeah, we're going to eat the squid and the fish. Oh, getting a bite, guys, getting a bite. It's funny because I'm kind of down by a lobster trap. Got him. Got a fish, guys. Oh, he got off. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Shoot. Oh, my line snapped. My line snapped. Shoot. My line snapped. I had, I had a decent fish on. It's just like, whoosh. Well, the fishing ain't been much for them at the moment, but it's a beautiful evening. In fact, look at the sun right on the horizon. I still have high hopes, folks. This is right when things happen, to be honest. If you fished enough, you know they can be slow all day and like you can catch something good or a bunch of good things right at this time. I mean, 
a bunch of striper just like blow up in front of me or something. All right, guys, we move spots. If you look down here, there is a red mark on this rock. I'm thinking that means fish here. So we'll see. Hey, finally, fish on. It's either more than one or a good sized one. Oh, I've got three, I think. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, there you go. You got a whole crew. I've got five, six. Got every I... single one. <laughs> every single one. Oh, my one. word. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I was falling off the hook. That's nice. Oh, my word. That is cool. <laughs> oh, oh, look who came for dinner. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at him. You ain't getting him. I guess you could give him one, I guess. We have so many, actually. Oh, look at it. There he goes. <laughs> wow. I was said something cool could happen right at the end, right at night. Right as the night. Got a whole Christmas stringer. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Guys, even though the fishing's been a little slow for me, check out the mood over there. Even though the fishing's been a little slow for me, what? a gorgeous evening out here I am not sad I'm a little I wish I could have caught a few more nice fish but man well unless something happens on the uh, last cast of the day here uh, I think we're gonna pack it in for tonight and we have one more spot that we found driving around I'll show you guys in the morning and then cook up a, a nice little feast see you guys tomorrow all right, my friends, we are out here. Water is quite clear. Gosh, it's kind of cool. Yes. We are out here on this little pier, just a little public pier that uh, me, Ancient, and I discovered the other day. And uh, there's a little beachy spot over there, launch ramp there. And it goes out a good little bit into the harbor here. And we're just going to try fishing around all the pillars. And I see clumps of seaweed. And it's high tide. So. Yeah, pops, right? At like, yeah, just everywhere. Yeah, just and you know, good. like you said, if they have boats anchored up that right. close to the dock. Yeah, that dock, big one is right here. Uh-huh. You know? It must be deep. There must uh -huh. be quite a drop off, so. Yeah, yeah. Blood worms, we're gonna use them up today. This is the last day we're here. There's one. What are those? Oh, those have to be striper. Those have to be striper. I think. I think. Oh, hey, how are you guys? Where do they go? Where do they go? Oh, they're right there. Wait. No, they're just like filter feeding fish. Oops, I kind of scared them with this. You guys, I had the striper bait, this glide bait tied on. Look at them. No, no, there's some sort of, like, I don't even know. Wait, wait, wait. They look like catfish. Is that what they are? Guys, that's so cool about coming around. Like when you just come out here, you never know what crazy stuff's gonna happen. Guys, that was cool. They weren't striper though. But we got the stripe. We've had this thing tied on the whole time, just in case. Hey guys, they have a, there's there's all these kids here today, and um, they I, I think it's a sail school. In fact, I pretty much know it's a sail school. I've never heard of that before until <laughs> coming to Maine. Makes sense though. That's kind of cool. Uh, we just started, so yeah. we're... They were hitting good the other night. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we fried up quite a few. Nice. Right off this dock? Right up here? off this dock. It's our yeah. first time fishing here, so... Yeah, right on the edge down there, my daughter and I were raking them in the other night. Oh, excellent. Thank you for the tip. What would those be? Those fish down there. Oh, right there, uh, Pollock. Pollock? Oh. The, um, oh. The hand knife, or I'm sorry, uh, not Pollock, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're called pogies. Pogies, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Will they bite a little sabiki? Uh, those, no, they don't do those. Oh, they love these. Right, um, where's my shiny? Oh. What a tiny little shiny Yeah, that's sabiki. good for mackerel. Okay. Um, where'd my other ones go? Are those your striper baits? Yeah, uh, gee, looks like I, um, 
It's gone. I had a single, uh, a single shiny one here that I was just using the other night. Huh, so just like one hook. Yeah, it's just a shiny, just a shot, really ultra shiny. With, um, but they're they're just basically mostly for bait. The, the, um, the pogies, uh huh. Pogies, yeah, they don't taste the best. Uh huh. But they go after the mackerel. But the pogies are great for striper, uh, lobster bait, and stuff like that. Oh. They use, yeah, they haul them in off the breakwater here and um, rack them in by the whole school. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah. Thank you for the tip. Look at that, guys. It's just a tornado. It's a tornado of fish. Good grief, look at all of them. Oh, that cormorant there just had a little fish in his beak. Ah, he's fishing too. Interesting. All right, guys, I'm gonna, I really wanna catch one of these uh, pogies, and I can't catch him with a sabiki or anything. I've tried some stuff. I'm just gonna put on a treble hook here with a heavy sinker, and I'm gonna try just snagging these suckers. Oh, there are the pogies. Pogies in sight, sir. Oops, I gotta turn up the drag all the way. Got, oh shoot, I had one. I had one. Got him, got him guys. Whoa, yeah, this is like a good fish. Pops got one. Fish on, Pops. Whoa, this is a strong fighting fish. Fish on. Yes, I got one. <laughs> Sweet. That. Got one. All right, first, this is my first ever pogey. Guys, you just witnessed a personal best. Now, somebody said these aren't good to eat, but guys, we have been kind of eating trash fish the last couple years, or supposed trash fish in all the areas we travel, and we have been surprised a lot. Let me kill this guy real quick. This is a bloody fish. Uh, we have been surprised a lot by how good some of the supposed trash fish are. Uh, Jack Craval being a classic example. You know, there's a bunch of minnows right here. Just regular minnows. I think I'm gonna go under here and I'm gonna clean with fish. Okay. Well, Ace had pogies on this side. I see little minnows on this side. I'm gonna try, see if I can catch me a minnow on one of these uh, little tiny sabikis. Oh, got me a minnow. Oh, he did bite a sabiki. I thought I was going to snag one. That's crazy. Maybe I should put him on a bobber. I don't know what that is. Looks like a little sardine or something, maybe. I got him on a bobber. Oh, oh, bobber gone. Bobber just went down. You want to get it? Got him. No way. Oh, look, there's more with it. What is it? Is it's it a mackerel. mackerel. No way. You caught a mackerel on a piece of mackerel. No, I got a mackerel on that minnow I caught. Oh, you put that minnow on. Oh. I'm going to try to catch me another minnow. Guys, I was getting ready to cook. I was I was watching, rewatching my tutorial on how to clean squid. Yeah, I'm on YouTube, literally watching a YouTube video on here on how to clean squid just as a refresher. That's wow. Hilarious. Well, there you go. <laughs> a minnow bit the sabiki. The sabiki. I put the minnow on. <laughs> on and catch a mackerel. <laughs> That's great. All right, my friends, my dad is going to keep fishing and I'm going to clean our catch. We're going to cook right up on this pier on this beautiful day. It's like it's like 75 degrees out here or something. It's just perfect. I'm going to come right under here, sit in the shade. It's kind of funny. I got a foldable knife now, a foldable cutting board, what collapsible fishing rods. It's funny how like all this uh, travel stuff has come so far so fast. First thing I'm gonna do since this guy's still kicking a little bit, that fresh flounder my dad just caught. He is knocked out by the way. That's just nerves. I'm gonna clean it. It does not get any fresher than this, folks. I mean, he th this thing was on the fishing line just like less than five minutes ago. Okay, maybe five minutes ago, but. Aren't as big as the Spanish mackerel that you get in like uh, Florida. I think the skin just might peel. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's so nice. The skin just peels right off. 
Let's throw that stuff out there. I'm gonna start a crab feeding frenzy down there. Now I'm just gonna put all the meat in this fish bag. All right, got some macro cleaned. Let's see what this crazy pogey is like. Got some people overhead. What I'm doing is uh, I'm gonna scale it. Scales fairly easily here. And we're gonna cook it whole. Oh. Whenever I rinse stuff off in the water now, I don't know if you guys have seen that video of the guy like rinsing off his hands and a tiger shark comes up and bites his hands. Um, I kinda think about that now. <laughs> All right, now for the little brass. <laughs> There's tiny little fillet from the fish. I think the next one I won't uh, try to fillet. We'll just cook it up whole. All right, some little tiny fillets there. Let's get to these squid. Let's see, you cut right behind the eyes there. I pop the beak out. Bam, and there are the tentacles. The, in my opinion, this little tentacle ball here is uh, the best part to eat. Reach inside. Break a membrane. And oh, I took the pin out very easily. And now the guts, bam, the guts come out. And then to skin it, oh, that's right, I cut the wings. That's right, cut the wings. And then the skin pops off. And there we have a cleaned squid. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see, I think I'm gonna cut it up for frying strips that's something to do cut it up into strips my dad is look he said i'm looking forward to some fresh calamari and i said i can do that i don't know about you guys but i've always had calamari in strips like that so we'll add that to it you know i'll put the wings in there as well or the fins whatever you want to call them some people call them wings even though they do not fly last mackerel Cutting some uh, slices in them there, guys, so that the skin doesn't peel up and flavors get down in there. And we got a nice bag of seafood and a nice bag of crabs, which is seafood, I guess. All right, my friends, I am leaving the dock here. I thought about cooking up right on it, um, but the banner, the edge of it, it's just not wide enough. So I'm gonna come down here to the beach. Let's cook on the beach. And then I'll be kind of out of the wind as well in fact this flattish rock um right here got the backpack and everything man. yeah this will be good this is a pretty spot out of the wind tide is going out it is just an amazing it's probably gotten probably gotten up to about 80 so it's a wee bit warm but this main summer weather is incredible nice little portable cook setup here i always love these things Go down to the ocean. Get some ocean water. One thing I like about having a corner like this is that then you don't have tons of onlookers. There we go. Get some seasonings going. This is going to be for the squid. So I'm going to boil the crabs. Fry the squid, that's what my dad's looking forward to. He's never had fresh squid before, so. And then folks, just to remind you, we have a, the big bottle now, the beast bottle of my first cast seasoning, 26 ounces. I'll put a link to this in the description. Uh, this will last you uh, probably a lifetime and you can hand it down to your children um, after you're dead and they can enjoy it, you know. Man, I would just say my seasoning is even aromatic like it, it's coming out and I'm like man that smells good a little extra salt ladies and gentlemen a mental conflict has just come up for me since I'm in Maine or the Northeast in general you know Old Bay is the thing to use around here and I brought it because I thought I was going to use it however sometimes especially with tasty crabs there's no reason to put any seasoning on them you know, I'm going to do a compromise. I just decided I'm going to put two crabs in there without Old Bay and then we'll add some seasoning and, and see which one's better. Crabs have been kept on ice. They're dead or in a coma. 
put one in there. And yeah, perfect for two. And then we'll have the other two. Yeah. Just a little hot tub there. Sweet. Check out my seasoning. Also, I got a new merchandise store rolling. Uh, speaking of rolling, look, it's sunny right now, but it's about to not get sunny. This is a, some ominous looking clouds rolling in. Hopefully we don't get rained on before we get done cooking here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Crabs are boiling up nicely. All right, you know what's interesting? These crabs have no seasoning on them, and yet this smells incredible. The aromas, I must be really hungry or something because all the smells are really hitting me. The crabs aren't giant, I admit, but they're going to be fun. And they got big claws, practically like stone crabs from South Carolina that way. Yeah, let me get this blob of stuff. Sometimes the crabs ooze. That's nice that it kind of all stuck together. Put, oh, I'm almost out. There's the end of this one. This guy has big meaty claws as well. And then you know what? We, I forgot about this. We're going to try the green crab. He has one big claw on that side. So we'll see if you can eat green crabs or not. I'm, I wonder how many people have actually tried it. And while that's going, I'm going to get some Crisco out. Take a spoon, a warm spoon. You can reuse it too because it gets hard again. And you can, uh, you know, it doesn't slosh around in a pan. Mackerel. I love those tiger stripes on mackerel. They're, they're such a pretty fish. Yeah, see, I can, I can just practically split that one open. People uh, smoke these a lot, I read online, and you guys have told me a lot in the comment sections uh, of previous videos when we've caught uh, different mackerel. They, you guys talk a lot about smoking it and how good that is. I'll have to try that one day, smoke mackerel. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm oh wow, look how bright red this dude turned. Ay caramba. That's cool. Alright, tis time. Let's see, I'll set this over here on this flat rock. Since these are the seasoned uh, crabs, I'm going to just let them sit in the bowl and water. And then look, the handle detaches. And I can uh, just slide it right on, but I can attach it to this one. Come on. There we go. Look at it, melting like ice cream. Fried mackerel time. Oh, it needs to be, okay, it's bubbling. Maybe it needs to be heated up just a titch. Maybe I turned it down. And sometimes it's hard cooking outside because the darn wind just keeps blowing away all your heat. Nice setup. Uh-huh. It's, uh, oh nice, you got your crab crackers. Yeah. Um, out of the wind, beautiful view of the bay. There are a lot of beautiful views here in Maine, that's for sure. There are. They don't, it doesn't lack for any, does it? Mm -mm. Wow. You know what I'm gonna do, Pops? I'm gonna get these crabs out. Let's just eat everything as it comes out. Look at that. Ooh, I like that. That green crab, that's pretty cool. I'll give you, sir, one of uh -huh. There's a claw for you. Thanks, Let's see how this Jonah crab tastes. Lord God in heaven, I appreciate such a good day and this time in May. I ask that you bless this food to our bodies now. Thank you for such an abundance and a variety. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Huh. Micah got those for you, the mm -hmm. crushers, didn't you? Sure did. Yeah, look at that bit of crab meat there. So I say what we do, we decide, it would, is Old Bay better? See, these are this one's cooked in Old Bay. Oh, okay. Which one is better? Right. Cheers. There's probably a lot in the body of these. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, that's Hold definitely on. flavorful. Hold on just a second. Really interesting because that texture is different from the typical crab. You know, the other part of it might be that I'm, I'm kind of spoiled. We've been eating lobsters mm. every day for the last bit. Uh -huh, guys, ever since we, from the first meal we got, we were here, we've been eating lobsters. <laughs> Maybe we're spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what I think? This Please. is crazy. All right. I actually like the Old Bay better. Really? Um, I like the Old Bay better than the regular crab, guys. I did not think I'd be saying that. 
You know what I think it is? The Dungeness crab that we usually have in Oregon is so sweet. The Old Bay ruins it because we've tried it before and I was like, no, right. that, right. that doesn't go together. But with these crabs, maybe where they're like not that, not mm -hmm. as that sweet flavor, right, right. Old Bay yeah. does make them better. Yep. Oh, wait. I'm sitting here trying crabs and I've got fish that all of a sudden occurred to me. Okay. Everything's looking good. We're good. <laughs> like I got fish cooking that you know we got a clean cutting board here I'm just gonna lay the fish on the cutting board wow that mackerel is falling apart all right pogey going in and refish there we go all right we got mackerel and we got the green crab pops if you want to pop open that green crab all right, you can pop it open if you want. And then I've got some mackerel here, my friends. This is, this is kind of, <laughs> kind of fun. Just trying to mishmash of everything. Newbies in Maine. Now this is interesting. Okay. This. Because green crabs are everywhere down there. That's a fairly sweet meat. I can't believe this. Hmm. This is sweeter than the Jonah than crab. The Jonah, yeah. So if you could catch big green crabs, they would be good. Yeah. The problem is that I think the average size of those is just you know pretty small. Oh, what I want to know what you think of mackerel. Cheers. Yeah. Mmm. Guys, Atlantic mackerel. Oh my. Spot on. You might be little fellows, but they are tasty and delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really good. And they're super easy to clean, and they're easy to like, like they just come apart. Mm -hmm. And 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 easy to eat. There you go, <laughs> guys. Nine point five out oh, of ten, yeah. I would yeah. say, as far as seafood fish goes. Definitely, it just comes off in nice big chunks. I eat this all day long. Mm -hmm. you give me my limit. Mm. I want all twenty. <laughs> Uh-huh. Let's see a pogies. Right. Really is a trash fish. All right, pulling out the squid strips. This will be the final mm. thing. <laughs> the climax of the meal. Calamari. Fish. Okay, let's try the rockfish, then we'll try the pogey. Try to get a little fly off the back side. Ooh, that's warm. <laughs> Are they any good though? Cheers. I don't care for the texture. They probably make good fish cakes. Yeah, rockfish. They're is not. They're, yeah, they're not worth it. I'll get the back piece. There. You're gonna do the blackened piece. Oh my! I see lots of bones. You see all those bones? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I see a ton of bones yeah, in there. Yeah. That's probably why the trash face is all all of those bones there. First thing that came to mind is marshmallows. Burn marshmallows. Burnt marshmallows, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You shouldn't have There's that a... thought when you're eating fish, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, between all the bones, I have to say I did just bite through most of the bones. Like, yeah, you hardly yeah. feel them. Yeah, the bones weren't bad, but there's, there's no some... there's like no flavor. To me, there's no. like almost no flavor to it. See, I, I disagree. I think it's it's not too bad. It's not shabby. This forget about it. Yeah, forget about the, whatever the those fish. are whatever but this this at least has a, a fish texture and i like maybe that's part of it for me i like mm. the fish texture of the meat and the bones are so thin at least the ones i've had so far yeah that's I is could true chew right through them no big deal so yeah that's one thing let's see i would say about pogey like in an emergency situation or survival or you're just you know you yeah. really really want some fish you could actually eat it yeah. no i don't oh. reckon mackerel is way way better oh, oh mackerel mm -hmm. absolutely <laughs> It's not mackerel. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be that's gonna be done so Yeah. Gonna that's not gonna take long at all. In fact, you just wanna swing that over here and all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just set it right on me. Didn't plan on eating on a cutting board, but um Alright, we had to wait a second guys to let the yeah. Calamari cool. Yeah. Alright. Try a thin piece first. Sure, and then we'll try the Hold tentacles. That is so good. Could use a little salt. Mm. Well, I could use a dipping sauce. Dipping sauce. There you go. Yeah, you know, that's one thing I, I did forget a dipping sauce. But you know what I'm really looking forward to is yeah, the head and the mm -hmm. the tentacles. Head that's and tentacles. Good. Let's see. Let's do the big one. You can get the big mm. cheers. 
Oh. Mm. Now, oh. which is better, the squid or the mackerel? Guys, that squid, it's not gummy and chewy like no. an octopus is. It still has that like, kind of octopus seafood flavor that, that you like. And I think I like. because it's so fresh, sometimes you get calamari in the restaurant and it's, it is really rubbery. rubbery. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is just beautiful. It is. It, it is. It, it's just sl it's just slightly chewy, but it's not mm -hmm. bad at all. Can't believe you took that other head. Oh, sorry. Wow, that was rude of me. The squid is like a snack. Uh -huh. Maybe it's because of the strips. I don't know, but or maybe it's just because of how I've eaten in the past. It's, it's so like, like light, like a light yeah, snack, like or an like appetizer. yeah, it is like an appetizer. And the mackerel is like a the meal you like, can. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. You sink your teeth into. So mm -hmm. wow. you can have that last piece. Mm, I actually have some more cooking, but wow. Well, my friends. The seafood feast idea, I think, was a big success. Oh. That was fun collecting all the different things. Anytime you want me around to do this again, <laughs> I'm all over with it. <laughs> Sounds good. Guys, check out my dad's channel. Link down in the description. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one.